Hey guys, this is TNN, and today we're going to have a look at the Vitoba Virtual Reality Viewer version 2. So this is a virtual reality headset, so let's go ahead and unbox it. So we have the box here with plastic seal all around. As you can see, it is cardboard. So this is a cardboard VR headset. So it's basically just like the Google Cardboard, but this is made by Vitoba. So virtual reality viewer version 2 www.vatoba.com now link to buy will be down below in the description so let's go ahead and break this seal and get inside this box over here so this is just like the google cardboard and it works in a similar way as well now the google cardboard was one of the first vr headsets and it also was innovation in technology in vr and it was crazy when it came out and it's just amazing and the idea that it's all made out of cardboard that's so pretty cool as well i mean everything's just made out of cardboard so it's really really good for the environment as well so we've got virtual reality viewer written on the top we have this casing so this is actually just the case the main vr headset is inside so let's go ahead and slide it open it up so this was just the main outside box of the device here we have the vatoba and we have velcro straps everywhere now to me this is all new i've never ever seen something like this before so i'm not too sure how it's going to work and we are going to figure it out soon so uh we got something inside of here i think yes we do have something inside of here let's go ahead and check out what's inside so we have a small sealage here small package inside we have a pretty sure this is the headband so you can strap the VR headset around your head we then have a small instruction manual how to use the head strap uh, how to download the Google Cardboard app onto your smartphone and then use the VR so we got that little small instruction manual here and then we got some cautions over here so this device is not a toy please keep away from children under 13 so pretty much some basic stuff and go ahead and put that back in if I can I can't even put it back in there you go it's in then we also come with a cleaning cloth as well so I'm gonna go ahead and pack all this up and we'll be right back and the wind just blew away my stuff so we'll be right back right so I'm going to go pack all the stuff up and let's go ahead and look at the actual device itself let's peel off these covers on the lenses so pretty much what you are paying for is pretty much just lenses and small bit of the cardboard obviously and the padding and whatnot but most of your money is actually being spent on just the lenses so that's what's really really cool about these VR headsets it really really does keep the costs down so we have this cardboard design all the way around with velcro straps everywhere so there's all these velcro parts so you can attach your phone on compact it up you know we also have rubber band to keep your phone down as well so we have some sort of button over here so i assume that is the touch button so when you push down on the top of the device that part moves and it touches the screen but we're going to go ahead and use this anyway and let's attach the head strap on not too sure how you attach it on but I'm going to go ahead and use this device and we'll find out everything soon in a bit. But I have to say first opinions with the device it looks very cool and it looks just like the Google Cardboard. So let's go ahead and check it out. Right so I've gone ahead and used it and I have to say it is such a cool VR headset. It is probably one of the coolest VR headsets I have owned. Now the top part here I'm going to go ahead and teach you how you actually put that on. Now. It comes in all packaged up and go ahead and teach you that the top part is actually sort of a sunbed sort of thing so you go ahead and peel off the sticker on this velcro strap here and i've already done it for the other side you can see i've got the velcro there you just want to align it straight and make sure it's at a 90 degree angle so go ahead and push down hard and assure yourself that the velcro does hit the side of the cardboard and then like so that's it and then you just want to push it in and confirm that so that is sort of like a shade sort of thing when you're wearing the headset then we can go in and pull the other part off 
and we can put in our smartphone on the other end so literally it's so simple to use we also have a button on the top over here which I did go through you press that and then slight movement in the mechanism will touch the screen now we have the google.com cardboard website over here so I went to go ahead and I downloaded the google cardboard app and then it told me to scan that barcode I went ahead and gone ahead and scanned it and then it basically paired my phone with the device so if there's better usage obviously when it recognizes that it's the Vitoba version 2 and then as soon as I start I can start using it instantly I can start using the buttons and I have to say it is such a cool device let's go ahead and put my phone in so I've got a 5.5 inch phone but this device works with I think 4 inch to up to 6 inch phones so that's pretty crazy but mine's a 5.5 inch phone and it just about fits in the box we're gonna have to use the rubber band to strap it on let's go ahead and pull the rubber band up and just strap it on simple as that and then that's it you can start using your device really so as soon as you open up the Google Cardboard app you can start using your device but you don't have to use Google Cardboard obviously there's always other apps as well like such as YouTube 360 there's other games as well there's 360 VR games there's so many stuff out there you can use but let's go ahead and attach the head strap on so you go ahead and fit it to the sides and attach the head strap on but I have to say when you attach the head strap on and use the device it does get quite uncomfortable around the nose and forehead area because the cardboard really does hit against your head I mean it's not the most comfortable VR headset I mean around the nose right there the padding's not enough and it does sort of hurt sometimes and even the top part of the forehead will a little bit hurt but I guess I don't really use the strap anyway I prefer to just use it with my hands and just holding it on but other than that it's nice that they did give a strap but it is a little bit uncomfortable but the VR like the VR feature on this device is so much cooler than other VR headsets I've seen I mean it's just so much more interactive because it has a button you know my other VR headset doesn't have a button all you can do is watch stuff this one you can actually play stuff and you can actually interact with the virtual world so that's why this one is probably one of the coolest VR headsets I've ever owned but we're gonna go ahead and see the screen now anyway so guys we are using the VR headset right now as you can see it says look at the fox so if I go ahead there's a button on top over here if I go ahead and click on that button and look it recognizes that I have clicked the fox and we can look all the way around now I probably look like a weirdo right now like in some virtual world but as you can see we see some birds as well and this is super cool guys this is probably the best VR headset I have ever ever owned I have owned VR headsets before let's go ahead and click on this bird I have owned VR headsets before and this one it's not the most comfortable VR headset but I've got to say it is probably the coolest VR headset I have seen I mean just the button idea of the interactiveness and the Google Cardboard it all synchronizes together and it works really really well only problem I have right now it is quite uncomfortable at the nose area because it is cardboard and the strap also tightens it a little bit more but I think overall score I'd give this is 9 out of 10 I mean it's such a good VR headset I have to say and it's so great that they've used like renewable recyclable materials like cardboard instead of using plastic but only problem is, is that it's uncomfortable but other than that it is quite a cool VR headset you can see a massive whale just come across right now so overall score I think I'd give is 9 out of 10 this is a great VR headset link to buy will be down below in the description and don't forget to like comment and subscribe Oh, okay, so it's working now. <coughs> oh, wow. She's in her own little world. Look, she's just wandering off. She doesn't know where she's going. I see a little wolf on the side of the doggy. Yeah, yeah, if you click the button when you're pointing at the wolf. Okay. Like, press it hard a little bit. Oh, yeah, it's an Arctic fox. There you go, it's explaining what it is. Oh, and I can see a bird of some sort with a fish. <laughs> lighthouse now oh my god i didn't even see that there before That's there's nice. nothing there mate it's, it's just the sky you're pointing at <laughs> <laughs> right link to buy will be down below in the description and she dropped my phone Why would you do that? but don't forget to comment like and subscribe and thanks for watching this video